Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hrotak and we are playing Battletech. Welcome back to the Draconians. I have actually thought about this and we will go for the story mission instead of doing another contract because we will have to do contracts in any case once uh, we're done with that story mission I think because like there needs to be some time that passes between those story missions. Um, it's interesting that we got that one right away basically because it's already in the system I guess. Um, I've gone for some changes over here um, so the Aerodome is our grasshopper, and I've gone ahead and actually re-added the um, the flamers. I've also added two medium lasers. I I'm still not convinced that the lasers uh, that the flamers are not good. I kind of like that it allows us to take other mechs completely out of battle. Maybe we'll actually just roll with it. Um, so let's just move on. Okay, we we'll paid half a million. Pay, you know, we we'll just go for the normal effect, I'd say. And I, I don't really see the um, effect of more morale here. I think we'll just do it as is. Okay, Levi Sun of Mars is done. Pushing forward. Another day is done. Two, one. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go into contracts here. And we go for served cold. Um, priority mission, we got to travel to Smithen's Moon to destroy an armed smuggler's dropship for Lord Corrosus. He says, Lord Corrosus really talked up how dangerous the ship's security detail is. I'd suggest approaching this job with an abundance of caution. Yeah, we will. We get a ton of salvage from it, so we'll try to salvage things if we can. As you heard, House Corrosus has suffered greatly at the hands of the Directorate. We can't change that, but we can show Lord Corrosus that we're his allies and that our word can't be tr uh, can be trusted. We need his help with our data archive, yes, but that isn't why I agreed to this mission. If we are to prevail against the Directorate, I must unite the Founding Houses under the Restoration's banner. Without their support, we'll have no way of replacing our losses. Understood, Lady Arano. Let's get into the specifics of this job he's given us. I seem to remember something about a dropship. She's... Uh, called the New Grange. She's a transport vessel, ostensibly civilian, named for an old line of yard ships. What is that? Lostec, a class of jump-capable spacecraft that were built with integrated docks and shipyard facilities. In the height of the Star League, yard ships served as mobile shipyards, allowing for ship construction and repair in locations that lacked traditional docking facilities. It is unknown whether any yard ships have survived in the modern era, but many spaces consider them to be functionally extinct. A new Grange has been certified for commercial flight in the Directorate, the Capelling Confederation and the Taurian Concordat. In all other ways, she's completely unremarkable. At least, that's what her official paperwork says. I gather Lord Corrosus disagrees with the official paperwork? That's right. He claims the new Grange is running weapons into the Oregon Reach to supply the Directorate's war effort. The crew has been using an old commercial port on Anvil to fuel up between trips. Ships like this one could help to explain the Directorate's unexpected strength of arms. It is in our interest to destroy it. According to the intel we've been given, the Nag Range, New Grange is carrying more armor than any Union-class dropship has any right to. Attacking her directly will be a waste of time. Thankfully, Lord Madeira has found us an alternative approach. The Anvil fueling station was designed for civilian use. It isn't a hardened target, and its components can't withstand a sustained attack. If we go in while the new Grange is refueling and blow the station's primary fuel reservoir, her armor won't count for much. The resulting explosion will smash her like an egg. Um, you sure that Local Rosas is telling the truth? It'd be a disaster if we took out a civilian dropship. Yeah, because we try to be the good guys at least. From my own study of the new range and the situation on Anvil, I'm convinced that Lord Corrosus is telling us the truth. There's something deeply suspicious about this ship. She isn't a commercial transport she pretends to be. Hmm. May not be what she says she is, um, but that doesn't necessarily make her worthy of destruction. I'm no more eager for unnecessary bloodshed than you are, Horth. I hope that you know me well enough to recognize that. If we can raise a new range on the comms, I will offer a captain a chance to surrender. I'd rather take prisoners than fill graves. The Reach has seen too much death lately. Sounds like a workable plan. Let's move forward. Hang on a second, boss. If this job were as easy as blowing up a fuel tank, Corrosus would have done it himself already. So what's the catch? I mean, why send us after such an easy target? Lord Corrosus sent the last remnants of his personal guard after the New Grange two weeks ago, a lance of hardened mech warriors. They were summarily destroyed, a complete loss. There were no survivors. Don't like the sound of that. What do we know about their defenses? 
nothing. Lord Corosus didn't provide us with any specifics. That just sounds exactly like him. Maybe he's actually sending us into a trap. We should approach this drop with an abundance of caution. Bring the strongest lands you can field and keep your eyes open while you're on the moon's surface. And I'd recommend bringing a heat efficient lance if possible. Animals, atmosphere and climate will quickly overwhelm your heat sinks if you're not careful. Okay. Ah, no time like the present. I'll assemble my team. And I'll be with you on the comms. Good hunting. Okay then. I really don't like the sound of this. It sounds fishy. It sounds really fishy. Uh, so we have the Cataphract, we have the Aerodon, we have the Rubicon, we have the MX. I think this is good. Um, Rubicant will be throwing the missiles, Grasshopper will be flaming him up, the Cataphract will go in with its AC-20. Although I'm actually kind of considering um, switching the loadout on the Cataphract. Um, Maybe go for an AC-10 instead of an AC-20 and just armoring up a little bit heavier. Um, it is a bit squishy, like especially compared to the Grasshopper. The Grasshopper can take a ton of punishment. Um, even the Orion can take a bunch. Cataphract, I mean, it's also not quite as heavy. We'll see how it goes, but I think this group is very strong. We bring way more drop tonnage than we need. We have two and a half skull. We have a Martian thing here. Similar to that of the fourth planet of Terra, Sol solar system, thin atmosphere makes it difficult to sink. Heat can suddenly whip up dust into swirling storms that provide some amount of cover. Radiation fields can offer some protection, but they cause the units in them to accumulate dangerous levels of heat. So, yeah, we'll just jump in, I guess. This looks good. We'll see what we can do. Hmm... I mean, it might have been better to take the t Thunderbolt instead of the Cataphract, but we'll see how that goes. So, engage and destroy the New Grange. Destroy the ship's security team. New Grange must not escape. Lord Corosus challenged my authority and he was right to do so. His son died in my name. We're going to do what we can to earn his help and support. That means destroying the New Grange smuggling ship that has been running weapons to the Directorate. I'll be your voice on the comms for this drop horror. Let's get this done. Um, Darius says, keep your eyes open for the new range security detail and be ready for a fight when it arrives. I'll be rooting for you from here. Okay, let's do this. Command interface initiated. Okay, there's a lot of activity on the ground, Commander. Looks like the new range is being prepped for launch. You're going to have a tight timetable to get in the blow station's fuel recovery uh, reservoir before it lifts off. I'm seeing turret emplacements and light battle mech activity on the ground, but it appears that the security detail we were warned about is off-site for now. So Mia will be monitoring her sensors for any sign of incoming dropships. She's got that right, Commander. If I see anything, you'll be the first to know, and I'd advise you to be weary of the secondary landing pad up here on the ridge. If I were dropping a defensive lance, that's where I'd do it. Good hunting, Commander. I'll be running ops for you from here. <coughs> okay. So... <coughs> oh man, I apologize. So what is this? Fuel pumping station, turret generator, turret generator. So we can expect plenty of turrets in there. Beautiful, just beautiful. Mm, I wonder what this is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's an interesting facility. Interesting. Um, this is the landing pad. Okay, so we're going to be wary of the reinforcements that appear on the map from here, I guess. And I guess they're going to spawn in once we destroy the fuel pumping station. Looks decently straightforward. Um, how are we going to approach this? This seems to be an entrance into the base. And I would like to go up here for now. Mm, try to take out the turret generator if we can. Make it quick. Roger that. Moving to position. Bring everyone up. Come on, chop, 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 chop. Time until lift off. Twelve rounds. We can do this. Let's go. Okay. Again, one morale. <laughs> Orders. Mm, okay, we have two turrets up here. This thing has. What do you have? Can I just fire on the turret generator? Locking on target. Huh. 
Okay, that's done. Nice. Target eliminated. Can I do that with the other one as well? Waiting for orders. It doesn't seem that way. Still awfully nice. <laughs> Just taking the thing out. Um, Roger. Don't need to tell me twice. Bring these guys down. Okay, we have more enemy contact. Wanna go at that second turret generator? Okay, 25 ton mech coming up. It's not a problem. That's a 35 ton mech. Could be a Jenna, could be a Panther. 25 tons. Well, this could also be a fire starter, I think. 25 ton mech. Commando, maybe? Yeah, Commando. Have the yeah, only. Commando. Those are the only ones that have 25. Will I be able to get at that thing? I should be, actually. Got it. I want to have a stationary then after this. It's happening. We're inside that whirlwind now. Reduce movement, spotting distance, but provide cover. Um, no, can't go at that one. Damn shame. Should have probably just reserved. These are okay. That's a 55 ton mech coming up. All right then. Things are getting real. Um, we're we'll reserved with Horath. Kind of want to go through this thing into the. Uh, we've we got to get up to the reservoir here. I hear ya. Is what I think. So Decker. I mean, I don't like going through the rocky terrain, but. I also don't like jumping if I don't absolutely have to, so maybe we'll just run in. Just sprint Roger. in. See what that thing is. We'll get a ton of evasion. Waiting for orders. Okay, maybe we could jump over that. We still don't see what the other thing is. We'll also just sprint her in. Okay. And then... We'll sprint down here as well with Mega X. It's rough terrain. Should go away next turn. Okay, so this guy is going to come up. Is he going to go that way? Is he going to go the other way? Okay, it's a panther. Hello, buddy. Okay, whiffed his PPC. That's probably goodbye for him. At this point. He also Commander. doesn't have a huge amount of evasion. Okay, I can attack the fuel pumping station. There's no way that I can get the turret, actually. Maybe we'll actually remove those guys before we go after the pumping station. I have no idea what is going to happen if I do it, but... Yeah. Taking out the panther sounds like a great idea. Firing all weapons. Just give him hell. Left leg is down, left arm is down. Things are generally pretty bad for him. Okay. Knocked down on the pilot. Beautiful. Okay. 55 ton mech incoming. What's it gonna be? 55 tons. Um, Wolverine, Shadowhawk. Hunchback is 50, I think. If that is a Hunchback, we're fucked. Ah, uh, sorry. We're, we're screwed. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta work on the language. Mm, no jumping if I can help it. We 
scoop him up that way. Definitely gotta kill that panther that's lying on the floor. Don't see any way to, to let him live, really. So, I think center torso is just the way to go here. Goodbye. Yep. We're, we're already in range. We should easily be able to take that thing out. There's another 55 ton. Okay, I mean, they are bringing some damage capability over there. Good to go. The thing is, I can just... If I jump in here, I can just grill that guy. Maybe. The question is, what do they, what do they have? And more importantly, um, what kind of turrets can I expect? It's a very aggressive move. He's gonna take tons of damage. Still, I kind of think it's worth it. Lifting off. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. It's a Wolverine and it's a Shadowhawk. So what we'll do is we'll vigilance this. And then, yeah, I think it's just go on the Wolverine. Good hit chances. On it. Burn. <laughs> He's unable to use his weapons now. He has an AC5, SRM6 and an M laser. Nice. They don't seem to have any heavy mechs. I like that. Can we get in range? Kinda can. If I jump over here, I liberal jumping. But this in this case, yeah, we have a Shadow Hawk over here. He's like tanking all the damage. The commando is gonna be difficult to hit. Yeah, I can't I can't get in shooting range. And I really wanna be. We'll do this. Kind of interested in taking out the Wolverine right now. The less people we have on the map, the better. And I kinda expecting that if we have that heavy lance coming in, we'll have plenty of salvage opportunities then. So I'd rather just like take out this guy. He got a head hit. Thirteen of sixteen. Incredible. Do we go for Vigilance here as well? Nah. Destroyed the left arm. Don't think these guys have anything in their left arm. Oh well. Whoa! Okay, that's rough. We have some autocannon turrets over here. Nasty. We're gonna, we're gonna try to take out the turret generator ASAP. He's in our back, but he's missing most of his shots. The guard doesn't help us in that regard, though. Okay, so if I... Orders. Mm, I mean, I can punch these guys. Standing now up. that I have vision of this thing. Ah, I can't do it. I already want to. Is that gonna allow me to target it? Do I need line of sight is the question that I want an answer to. Maybe it doesn't really matter. Trying to take that Wolverine out is kind of our priority because he can still get in our back. Commando is fine. Yeah, we'll just take out the Wolverine, throw everything that we have on him. He should go down. Okay, we have an ammo explosion. Target's taken a critical hit. He didn't die though. That's rough. Not what makes me happy. He's uh well he's retreating, I guess. Okay, sure. Receiving you. So Decker. With him too. Like Decker has a Waiting good chance on actually d destroying that turret generator. Especially if I jump up, I can just go knock it out. I can nuke it. 
Mm, I kind of think that is that is preferable to doing something else. Hmm. I mean, how much do these tower generators have? Could I maybe get a beat on the target here? Come on, just tell me what it has. Like, how hard can that be? Just clicking on it. Nope. Not gonna do it. Sure, sure. Be that way. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get in range here. Er, we're still gonna have an attack from that Shadowhawk over there, so... Is there any way that I can get shots? Yeah, this way. That will allow me to do it. The question is, do we yes, want that? Do we want that? Could also just go in and punch the guy. But if I possibly could, I would really like to avoid the fire from that from that turret. Or from these turrets. We can't multi-target, which is a damn shame. Come over here. That one has a hundred. One, two, three, four, five. That will be enough to take it out. We'll commit to this. Yes. Okay, I mean, we take some heat damage. That's okay. Damage. That's okay. That's okay. We'll live with it. What's that guy gonna do? Is he gonna be able to completely flank us? Nope. He's going after Glitch. She can she can take a chunk of damage. That's okay. Alrighty, so turrets are out. These guys are in a precarious situation, I'd say. Come up. I mean, I kind of would also like to take out the commando. But he's probably not my priority. How's the Wolverine looking? Yeah, he's like almost dead. We could just um, multi-target this. Move up over here. Give the Wolverine maybe one AC-10. Got the rest on the other guy. So... A, B. And we'll give B the AC-10. Whatever it hits, it's basically gonna destroy it. If it hits the leg, the leg is out. If it hits that leg, the leg is out. Actually, no, that's not true. Because we only have half damage there. Okay, we'll commit both AC-10s to that guy. And the lasers to the commando. We destroyed the right arm. Damn it, we missed one. Okay, see how it is. Now we got Glitch though. What can I do for and you? Glitch can also multi target, which means. If we come up here. Oh, damn it, I won't be able to hit that guy. So we've got to come up here. With decent hit chances on everyone. Shadowhawk, it's not going to happen, but we'll do this. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Bring her up. No more jumping now. No more jumping. Gotta watch our heat. Multi target A, B. Okay, the AC 20 goes on B. And as many of my lasers as I can afford are gonna go on A. Okay, we'll go with the two 95%. Line them up and I'll Feel the burn. Down, Destroyed the right torso. Yes, goodbye. Gotcha. Oh, we just destroyed the right torso on this guy as well. We just incapacitated the, the um, pilot, which means we can salvage this if we get it. So what's the commando going to do? What are you even going to do? He's, he's tiny. Eh, he can still do some damage, though. Uh, 
Um. Ready for orders. So, I'm not sure if we actually have to take a break here. This guy already What's moved. Up, if I attack him, I could just attack him with the AC-10s. I kind of would like to get him off balance so that I can get cold shots, though. So, I think we'll use Behemoth. We still have six rounds. We're, like, basically one round away from taking that thing out. It has 250 damage, so if we have two max fire on it's it's out. So... Not a real problem. Commando can live. And we'll give we'll give the Shadowhawk everything we have. Yeah, catch, buddy. Hmm. I wasn't too successful. I mean, he's a bit unstable, but nothing major. Sure. Okay, I mean, alternatively, I could just go and punch the commando with him. I mean, that's bound to, to kill him, right? Get maybe a little bit of that heat taken off. Destroy the left leg. He's down. Pilot is injured. We knocked him into the medium mech phase in the next turn, so that's kind of nice. Ready for orders. We will not be able to do much to this guy. Like we can't come up, but what is this? Ice reduces movement speed, increases stability damage, but it improves the heat unit's heat sink capability by fifty percent. That looks pretty nice. That ice. We'll do this. We need to sink a ton of heat here. But it, it needed to happen. Like, I really wasn't happy with those auto cannon turrets. It just needed to go. Yeah, so we're on ice now. Um, I've called shots on this guy. Mm, let me just take the 55 um, shots. It's also... 15% on the leg. We'll, we'll go for the leg. If he get, just gets legged. That's it for him. Damn it. We missed 10 damage. <laughs> Waiting on you, Commander. Mm. Might have a bit of a heat problem here. Don't have good hit chances on the AC-20. If I come up a little. AC-20 goes up to 60. Yeah, that's as good as it gets. Kind of thing, we just stay where we are. And we'll just finish that, that commando. We'll use two lasers. We'll take out that left leg. Yep, he's gone. Bang, you're dead. <laughs> Commander, that dropship is about to take off. You have to stop it. Chill. We're about to stop it. No worries. Ow. Could have done without that. But it's not a huge problem. Um, he's still rather unstable. Orders. I think we'll give him a piece of our mind. Just have some LRMs. Destroy the jump jet. I think I hit something good. So now if we hit him with our um, auto cannons, he's going to have a bad time. Can't hit him, right now at least. Oh, units in this location are at risk of destruction. Good to know. I think we'll do this, so we have shots on both. This will give me good, good shot chances, I'd say. Mm. 
Do we need the AC-10s? I mean, I could actually just try to take out the leg. Both of his legs are not looking too well. We might get some nice salvage from this. Do I want to use a precision strike for that one though? Like, we have tons of these guys, of these Shadowhawks. Why would I try to get another one? Okay, we destroyed the right arm. He should also fall over now. Okay, yeah, knockdown, which gives us some free call shots. What is this? Pilot. So there's a chance that we just take him out. Good to go. Call shots here. Do we take the headshot? I don't think so. Just take the AC-20. We have 95% uh, hit chance. Hmm. We'll actually just take off his other leg. Or maybe we'll go for his torso? What is he storing there? Some ammo. Go for this. Right torso is done. He's injured. And then we still have Decker. Next turn we'll, we'll concentrate on the fuel pumping station. Standing so, by. No worries. No worries. Can I hit him? Yeah, I can. That's nice. Okay. Don't really want to call him. What's he storing in here? AC5 ammo, so that will that will blow up if I send him some lasers. Hmm. Kind of still like I would still like to sink some heat, so we can actually fire from everything that we have once these guys arrive. I copy. We created the AC5. That's not bad. Inflicted some heavy damage. I've got a directorate leopard moving in on your position, Commander. Judging by the markings, it's a House Espinosa ship. Interesting. That must be the Defense Force Lord Kuros has warned us about. Be ready. Sure, I'll be ready. <sighs> we'll take that last shot. We have a 16% chance to hit the head. Um, turn off the lasers. Don't want to overheat here. Engaging target. Okay, we caught him. Damn it. Well, it happens. The new Grange is almost ready for takeoff. Destroy that ship before it's too late. No worries, please. It's not a problem. No, we want to move, not sprint. Moving out. We're out of combat now, which is kind of nice and funny. Yeah, we'll fire on this thing. We'll use what we have. Got it. Man, that damage output on that thing is pretty crazy. There's the captain of the New Grange. Hold your fire, damn it. We're a civilian transport, not a military dropship. I know what you are. Power down your engines and surrender. Or your ship will be destroyed. Can't do that. I repeat, hold your fire. There are unarmed people on this vessel. We've got a hold full of passengers, and you'll be murdering them if you destroy that tank. I already know what your ship is carrying, and it isn't civilians. Captain, I'm giving you one last chance to surrender. If you refuse, what happens next will be on your head, not mine. Listen to reason and power down, now. They've cut the comm feed, Lady Arano. Picking up increased activity on my sensors. They're making a run for it. Then they left us no choice. We're blowing their fuel reservoir. Let's do what we came here for, Commander. Take that dropship out. I will. It's gonna happen. Could also use Behemoth. Kind of would like Behemoth to sink some heat. Mm, do we want to be up close? We'll move up. We have enough lasers Engaging to take confirmed. this thing down. It's not a problem. 
Do we need that many lasers, actually? We are putting out 100 damage, and this thing has 40 HP. And we don't want to miss. Firing on target. Ah, we missed one, so... That's done it. The new Grange is down. That should satisfy our obligation to Lord Corrosus. Incoming transmission. Heads up, Commander. Any dropship coming in hot. Incoming transmission. You fool! Do you have any idea what you've just done? You'll pay for that with your life. Mercenary filth! Victoria. I... If I'd known that you'd be here, I'd taken the field myself. Pity you didn't. Could have ended this war here and now. I suppose I'll have to content myself with your prized mercenaries. Watch as I tear them to shreds. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see how it is. Uh, we're not in combat yet. We we'll brace Behemoth. Aye, aye. Okay, so they have one light. 35 tons. Fire starter. Oh no, oh no. Well, it's not too bad yet. I'm kind of thinking we actually let them come up um, the reserve our turns. Standing by. 50 ton. Whoa! What are you? Damage minimal. Yes, very good. I mean, I don't like that they're all going on Mech X. Um... I think we'll continue to reserve. Standing by. Let these guys come up. Then I won't have to waste my moves. Okay, we have a dragon here. Alright. It's going after the cataphract. It's not a ton of damage, but I'd like to avoid these kinds of attacks. We have a 65 ton over here. It looked to me like a catapult. What is this thing? They said somewhere that her mech is like... What? PPCs? Yeah, I agree. So... Oh, we still don't have eyes? Come on. So, we have an M laser, LRM-10, AC-5. We have some flamers. We want to keep that guy away from us. Good to go. At all costs. <laughs> if that is an option. Um, taking out that dragon, pretty high priority. Who do we move first? Like, and he won't be able to do anything here, so I, I kind of have to run him up. Yeah, we'll run him in. Acknowledged. These guys have all moved already, so it doesn't really matter who moves first on our side. We're all in the assault phase now. Can we bring one of these guys down this turn? I really would like to. Yes, uh, good amount of evasion. I could move into this, get that cover from the destroyed building. That might not be bad. Hmm, I can get some really good shots on that dragon. If I try to hit the head, I might be able to take him out. I can also get eyes on this guy. Gotta do something here. We'll come up. We'll take that cover inside that building. Why not? So fire starter. Don't think that's going to happen. I have to turn off one laser. Actually, we'll just turn off the lasers in general. They have more weapons of opportunity than what gives us our main damage. I could go for a headshot. So, Oh, right. I have a vision on this guy now. What are you? Catapult K2. Two PPCs, two M lasers, two MGs. That's weird. I mean, do we want to capture that? Double PPC mech? Could be useful. You're not bound to any sort of ammunition. You do massive amounts of stability damage. Could work well on glitch, actually. Oh, and then they have a Centurion. That's also kind of nasty. You have the AC-10 on that guy. PPCs... We have an AC-5 on that one. Actually, that catapult is kind of a priority target here. 
No, wait, no, we need a precision strike. I mean... Can I, can I shoot you in the head? Yeah, I have 90% hit chances. If that is a thing, she's just out. Question is, does she have plot armor? We'll find out. I did not hit the head. I hit the torso. Happens. Commander. Can only take these two. Sure. Um, dragon then. Try to focus down the dragon first. He's almost done. We have a head hit on him. But he's a defender so he won't go down until his mech is Later. like completely destroyed. Come here. Actually... Do we have shots like this? Yes, we do. We have a shutdown alert, so gotta be a little bit careful. Now nah, we gotta get closer in to get our AC-20 moving, though. <sighs> we have a 90% hit like this. Moving to position. We'll move in and we'll go for the Vigilance. Like, we want to stabilize this mech. PPC does a lot of stability damage. Eighty-five to hit now. Affirmative. Damn it! We missed our AC twenty, didn't we? That sucks big time. Or did we? Maybe we just missed the laser. Actually, Firestar is still only using its lasers, so that's good. Okay, that's my turn now. Waiting for orders. I want to leave Glitch over here where she's guarded. Yes, Commander. I think the most reasonable move here is Behemoth. Um, try to go for that dragon. Do this. Locking on target. Get him to be toppled. Side torso destroyed, he's injured. He fell down, he's injured. Nice. AC5 is out of the game. I have that Centurion move, sure. How? Kinda hurts. What could be worse? Hmm. Good to go. So what do we do with him? Like we we kinda have to move here? I think what I want to do is just move out of range. Although maybe I just stay here. Maybe I just stay where I am. I have called shots on this guy. On the dragon. What are you storing in here, buddy? Yeah, some ammo. Let's apply some more damage. Engaging target. I will kill you, mercenary. Yes, that pilot is out. <laughs> Beautiful. That's what we want to do with the sniper. Commander? At least that's that's the plan. Okay. Um Not great hits with the AC20. I kind of want to rip these guys apart. The fire starter in particular needs to die. Don't really want to move over the rocky terrain though. That would suck. We'll reserve. See what happens. She will move in the last. Really, yeah, she will... it's gonna move in the first phase. Why? Commander. We'll have Decker move up. Is she gonna move up is the question. I can make life really bad for this guy. But can I kill him? Maybe. We'll see. If he starts some fire on my guys, that's definitely not what I want, so 
Burn. Firing. Full complement on enemy. Got 60 heat. So that'll that should stop him at least from using his weapons. Hmm. We'll reserve her turn. See what she does. Yes, with your PPC shot. Beautiful. Okay, what do we do? Commander? What do we do now? Do we just move up? Do we just stay here? Like, I have good shots on her. Hmm. Do we go for a little bit of a cooldown here? Nope. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Critical hit. Our mech is unsteady, so if we can land any shots on it, it will will be able to make it keel over. How can you still use your flamers? Like I thought you had a lot of heat. Oh man. Watch my heat levels. Yeah, he's doing he's doing to me what What's what I thought? wanted to do to him. That sucks. So, um, precision strike. Wouldn't mind precision striking her. Waiting for orders. I think we might go for a volley though. Let's give her a volley. Let's give him a volley. Gotta turn that one off. Damn it! I can only I can only sh throw one. Man, I really want the fire starter to die. It's such a nasty machine. But then again, knocking down that, that catapult. This could work. Throw five on the fire starter. Throw 15 on the catapult. It's all right. Roger that. Oh, it was just not enough. Damn it. Okay, we have the Centurion moving up. We can deal with this. No worries. No worries. Yes, you missed. Ow. That is rough, though. Gotta really watch the heat with him. Commander. Okay. Precision striking seems to be the name of the game here, so I have decent hit chances here. Hmm. Left also. What are you carrying? Heat sinks. Gonna overheat if I do this. What is this one doing? More crit. Mm, did the leg take any damage? It didn't. Well, let's go for that one then. Oh, we got the knockdown. Pilot is injured. I take it. Good to go. Okay, so. Um. We need to just beat that guy into a pulp. I don't think there's any other way to do this. Um, from the side, from the front. Aye, aye. Can do it. Right arm is off. Right torso is gone. He's shut down. Okay, he's unsteady too. Waiting for orders. So now we have two call shot opportunities. Um, here and here. Do we go for the catapult while, while it's vulnerable? 
Kind of would like to capture it. Seems like an interesting idea. I would like to try the two PPCs. Maybe we can do something with it. I don't know. 65 ton. Hmm. What are you packing in your arms? Yeah, it's packing PPCs in its arms. I kind of also think that this thing should just go. You will not defeat us. I will break you, mercenary scum. Yeah, yeah, you're still busy lying on the floor, so quit talking. Coming up, guarded, entrenched. Sure. Not too impressed with that. Standing by. Um, do we try to knock her down again? Do we try to take more call shots on the legs? I have no idea how tough she is. I have an 89% chance to take the leg out, I guess. I won't quite be able to take it. All weapons committed. Yeah, we have some heat. heat that's fine. Level. We have no more fire starter, so that's all right. Oh, we have exposed structure on the left also. It's not nice. Ready for orders. Oh, I can only hit her. Okay then. Twenty Stop. LRMs. Why not? See what it does. Destroy the left torso and the left arm. With another pilot injury. So Decker, um, still very high on the heat. Thing is, I don't want to, don't want to give my back to that guy. I mean, I can also move up and just flame her. She already has tons of heat. If I flame her, that will like kind of stop her from doing nasty things to me. On my way. Don't care much about uh, getting the Centurion intact, but I kind of would like to get here. Her. Shoot none of the lasers, we just shoot the flames. Burn. <laughs> Commander? Um, the thing is. If I move through this, I'm going to have a hard time. But I need to take out that Centurion, so I guess we'll take the instability. If we get knocked down, we can probably deal with it at this point, because we only have two more enemies, unless they get like more reinforcements, which will be pretty insane. Um, can't even go for another laser. Right, Commander. Destroyed the right torso and the right arm. Pilot is injured. It's a gunner. Really? You're gonna keep shooting your PPC? While you're already massively overheated? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. So we have the mech shot down over here. Because she couldn't contain herself. She just needed to to hit her with her PPC, so definitely. I, I get it. Sometimes the rage just burns you. Actually, I I'm not one to talk. I guess I can't do anything here. Okay. Good to go. It's a turn of pause for me. Um It's only on her that I can take the shot, so. I, I want to take that Centurion down. He's almost lying on the floor already. Move up a little bit.
Yeah, I have 25 missiles. It's good for you. It's like medicine. Oh, he's unsteady, but he's not out. Damn it. Well, all he has now is lasers. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Chill. Chill. We'll... You'll be fine. I really want to shoot at her. Do I dare? I mean, I'm going to take some more overheat damage, but... I'll be able to take her down. Put some more damage on her. Left leg is destroyed. We have another knockdown. Falling over. Pilot is injured. Heat is a problem. Receiving you. Move on up. Moving to position. We'll flame that guy. She has to restart her mech, so it's gonna take her a while until she's back in action. Burn! Okay, um, we could just take out her other leg. At this point, I think we're fine here. Firing on target. I will make you suffer before you die. Okay, well, didn't quite go as I kill. wanted, but it's okay. If you sh if you shoot the AC twenty, you would um kind of calculate with something like that. So she's guarding and entrenched, that's that's all she's gonna go for. Standing by. Reserve. I want all the options. And oh, she's gonna move again, really. Waiting for with one more shot with the flamers. On it. She's got no head damage yet. I have another cold shot, so I could try to hit the head one more time. But yeah, we'll we'll just flame her. Confirmed. Stop her from doing anything My stupid. Is empty. Okay, flamers are at an end. That's no longer an option. It's a precision strike. The leg. I'm gonna overheat again. Waiting for orders. With just one more shot here. The thing is, I don't want to take her back. Coordinates received. I will just take her side. Try to fire down her leg. Hello. That torso will go. I only have one more shot. Maybe I should make a count. I would destroyed the right torso and the right arm. <laughs> we actually got the mag. Beautiful. Mission successful, Commander. Nicely done. Dr. Murad, does the Argo have an empty storeroom that could serve as a makeshift break? I'm sure that something could be arranged, Lady Arano. Then arrange it and get a lock on Lady Espinosa's ejection pod. She's coming with us. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> that is a complete success. I like it. Ah, very nice. Oh, we get two million bucks. I mean, sure. <laughs> I take it. Two million. Yeah. Right, we'll be swimming in money. We took some heat damage, but overall I'm pretty happy with the performance on our guys. 2,000 XP on each. Um, and we have a ton of stuff over here. We managed to take out a bunch of mechs without any problems. Seeing, just looking if there's something nice in here, equipment-wise, there isn't. So, I think we'll just take that catapult. I mean, it's a K2, but whatever. Do we take another part of the dragon? We already have two or three Shadowhawk parts, so maybe we'll just take that one. But, dragon is probably more expensive. I 
I don't really need the money. We'll just take that dragon part, I'd say. We could still get the Shadowhawk part. Oh yeah, we're getting a bunch. So we have another part of the Centurion, Commando part, Firestarter part, Panther part, Wolverine part. Got that SRM too. Nice. Got 16 million in value. Beautiful. Let's see what she has to say. I'm pretty sure we get an exchange with um, with the woman that we just took out. <laughs> there she is. Oh yeah. You're gonna spend your the rest of your life in prison. Just like Mastiff. Just gonna rot away for 40 years. Or longer. Victoria, I've been waiting three years for this. Are you enjoying your cell? I had it just assembled for you. Gloat all you like, cousin. Your victory will be short-lived. Your pathetic little army may have carried you this far, but if you think that you can challenge the core systems, you're sadly mistaken. Our glorious army will grind your restoration to a bloody pulp. Save me the lecture and tell me what you were doing on Anvolt. Your father rules the Directorate. You should be in a tower somewhere, not on a dusty little moon guarding a smuggling ship. Smuggling ship? Is that what Carosus thought the Newgrange was? Is that what he told you? Oh, you poor dear fool. I would tell you what you've just done, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. You will find out for yourself soon enough. Okay. I mean, I could make fun of her, but I'm, I'm gonna go with the origin. If Corrosus deliberately misled us about this, I'll have his head. Worry about it later, Horath. For now, I would have words with my cousin. Victoria, I loved you like a sister, and you betrayed me. Your father held a knife to my back, and you helped him push it in. I need to understand why. If you'd ever really listened to him, you'd already know. He tried to teach your cousin, to set you on the path to strength and prosperity. But you spat on his efforts and forced his hand, and mine along with it. Forced your hand? Mastiff is dead because of you. Our mentor, the man who taught you to pilot a mech, you put him in a camp and left him to rot. Thousands of Oregon dead lie piled at your feet. Price of strength and our nation's future. For the glory of the reach, I'd pay a hundred times over. You seem to be confusing want and cruelty for strength. They aren't the same thing. The destruction of your lands should have taught you that. Little Lord Madeira, still my cousin's favorite pet, I see. I wonder if that pretty jaw of yours is as fragile as it looks. One of these days, we'll have to find out. Big talk from the woman in the cell. Too bad you can't back it up. Horath is right, you can't. And that's eating your life, isn't it? You're a formidable mech warrior, Victoria. But that's all you are. Take away your mech, and what's left? Bile on venom and hollow threats. My threats aren't hollow, fool. Do you think my father hasn't planned for this? Did you think that you were winning? My capture means nothing. The jaws of our trap are already closing around your neck. You're just too blind to see it. We may be blind, but that didn't stop us from kicking your ass up and down the canyons of Envelt. <laughs> you mock me at your peril, mercenary. My father bends everyone to his will. The periphery nations, the successor states, everyone. You don't know what I've done for our people, the sacrifices I've had to make. You understand nothing, and you never will. You already lost this war, cousin. You'll die screaming, and your restoration will die with you. I've heard enough. Miss Oliveira, cut off her calm. What do you want, to, want us to do with her, Lady Arano? The Argo isn't a prison. She can't stay here. No, she can't. Lord Carosa's lost a daughter on Worldry, and we weren't there to help him. I can't undo that wrong, but I can't, can give him justice. We will transfer Lady Victoria into his custody to be held until I say otherwise. Your call. We'll set a course for Smith and when we're ready. Conversation's over, people. Let's get, get back to work. Mending fences. In orbit. Anvil. Lady Arano, my staff has taken Lady Espinosa into custody. She's being escorted to her cell as we speak. A kind of fate than she deserves, perhaps, but I will adhere to the terms of our arrangement. While she remains in custody, she will not be harmed. 
An honorable man, Lord Carosus. One day I hope to earn your support. You already have it. What you've done today feels like justice, Lady Arono, of a kind I never thought I'd live to see. I owe you a debt of thanks as welcome on the truck. You did a yeoman's job on the Newgrange. She will never darken our skies again. <laughs> Lady Victoria claims that you were wrong, Lord Carosus. That the Newgrange wasn't a smuggling ship. Of course she does. She's a liar and a betrayer. You can't trust her at her word, Commander Druck. Uh, we'll go for this. Believe me, I get that. I understand betrayal better than most. That said, even if Lady Victoria was telling the truth, would it really change anything? Whatever the ship's provenance, the New Grange was important enough that Director Espinosa had his own daughter standing sentry over her refueling site. You sent the Newgrange to hell and deprived Espinosa of something he deemed valuable. I count that as a win, Commander Druck. If I were you, I'd make sure to keep an armed guard outside her cell at all times. she will be dangerous even in captivity. Don't worry, Commander. I know who I'm dealing with, and the appropriate precautions have been taken. Lady Victoria will be quite secure until Lady Arano is ready to reclaim her. Glad to be of service. Now let's discuss what you'll be doing for us in return. Yes, of course. Let us discuss your recompense. Your chief engineer tells me that she's found a hidden data archive on your ship and that you need my help to open it. It sounds to be quite the mystery. More than a mystery to me, Rosas. My father believed that the Argo held something of great value, but he died before he could see it. I need to know what's on that drive, and you're the only one in the reach who can open it for me. Better, perhaps, that I give you the means to open it yourself. I will have a device sent to your ship, an electronic code breaker of advanced design. Give it enough time, it'll chew through any encryption, even yours. Electronic device capable of hacking key codes and breaking software encryption. Advanced electronic code breakers are rare and heavily restricted items. They are generally found in the only in the possession of the most sophisticated industry intelligence agencies. Now we'll go with the Antristry thing. With respect, I'm surprised that you own such a device. Any intellig intelligence agency like the Liren an intelligence agency like the Liren Intelligence Corps, perhaps, but not a periphery lord. I felt the same way when Hind Lord Tamali, that's the father of Lady Arano. Um, remembered throughout the reach as a kind of benevolent ruler, la di da di da Brought it to me all those many years ago. He told me that the device had been found in the possession of a Comstar presenter who had died in Oregon space. What she was doing with it, I will never know. So what's this? High-ranking Comstar officials who typically serve as the commanders of HPG installations. HPG, I think, is the communications that they're using. That is almost instant. Commissar's doctrine of religious mystery has elevated presenters to quasi-mystical figures in the eyes of the general public. Okay. What I do know is that your father would want us to have would want you to have this Kamea. He'd be quite proud of the leader you've become. Thank you, Lord Corossus. Simon. It means more to me than I can say. Speaking of proud fathers, do you have any news to share about your son? Has his condition improved since we last spoke? Somewhat, my lady. Otto's road to recovery will be long and difficult. The Directorate did something to his mind on Worldry. I still don't have a clear picture of what, but the damage is both physical and mental. In truth, I fear that my boy has been damaged irreparably and that the Otto I knew is gone, but I cling to the hope that someday the son that I remember will return to me. He will, Simon. I know it. Otto is young and strong, and House Corrosus is nothing if not resilient. I'm afraid that I must take my leave of you now. I have forces to marshal and plans to make, but please keep me apprised of Otto's condition. I will, my lady. Farewell to you, and know that you have earned the support of House Corrosus. What you have done today doesn't erase the past, but perhaps we can still write the course of our people's future. For my part, I'm willing to try. Thank you, Lord Corrosus. Welcome to the Restoration. Together, we will fix what my uncle has broken, I swear it. Hey, Commander, I've put the code-breaking device that we got from Lord Corrosus to work on our mystery archive, and now I'm watching a progress bar climb really slowly. I'll give you a heads-up when it's finished. Okay. That mech is ready to fight, the Catapult K2 is an outside-the-box redesign that trades the indirect fire capability for heavier direct fire PPCs. It doesn't usually mount jump jets, though, so it can be a bit more restricted in its use. It's gonna be really interesting if we actually manage to do something with that thing. That neck you asked for is clear Got another Centurion that we can sell, nice. Um, it, like, it just seems like a straight upgrade for the Vindicator, maybe? It's, it's uh, at the very least, it's very expensive, I like that. Mm, could be a replacement for the Jaeger mech, actually.
Or maybe the blackjack? Mm. We'll send the Jägermack back. We'll see how the catapult actually does. Um, that guy we'll just send to storage. Okay. So let's have a look at the build out of that thing and then we'll just Welcome call it a day. Okay, catapult. 65 ton mech. Has two PPCs as we've seen. It's just weird. Sniper and direct fire support. So, it, I mean, it has a ton of heat sinks. I would definitely pull off the MGs though, because that makes no sense having a long range thingy. I mean, okay, I guess you want to go into melee here. It has four support slots, it has four energy hard points. I wonder if you could throw additional PPCs on it, like make a thing with four PPCs. Do 200 damage, just annihilate everyone with it. It does 40 heat though, so even just firing these two continuously is probably a tall order. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, double PPCs are not bad. If you can keep firing, they do a decent amount of damage. Hmm, movement is pretty bad though. Range is still reduced, average range. If we, I think that's because of the MGs though. This should actually have a pretty decent range. Yeah, yeah. That's how that goes. Hmm. I th I'll think about how we could make this um, useful. I'm actually not sure if that is a thing that we can, that we even can make useful. Um, selling some stuff, maybe. We could sell something in the store. We have some mechs that we don't want. We can sell a dragon. Oh, I want to sell, not buy. Sell. Uh, do we want to sell the Jaeger Mac? It might still have its uses. We, I'm going to sell that Centurion. We already have a built out Centurion, so don't really see us using this one. Goodbye. Um, nothing else in here, really. At least I don't think so. We have an L laser with a plus. We have an S laser with a plus. Interesting. PPC with a plus. I mean, theoretically, if you use that as a sniper, I could even put it on Horrath, actually. Just use the PPC thing in the back and just pelt people from really far away. It has optimal 360, max 540. I'll think about it. Could be fun. Like, the good thing is it actually does a ton of stability damage. Um, lasers do none. AC2s do 5 stability damage. AC5s do 10. So, yeah. The other kinds are the best for the stability damage. In any case, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a pretty tough mission, but we got some nice rewards out of it. And I'm actually really happy that Lady Espinosa is finally in the jail where she belongs. That woman is a criminal. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time. Bye-bye.